The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. I've been a teacher for 40 years. I have taught at some great schools, and teaching here is the best job I've ever had. The atmosphere here is so positive. Horizon is a safe place, just a beautiful community of staff members that all support each other. I've never worked in a situation like this. This is, this is just, it's home for me. I'm a teacher because I think that's my, one of my spiritual giftings. And I'm here because I think God wants me to be here. And that comes out in everything I say and in every conversation. I feel like I've created such a family here. I've gotten to know each one just so well, like individually. What makes me happy is that I have a teacher and my friends to comfort me and that I feel safe here. Horizon is kind of a family itself. We're all together and um, that makes me feel at home. Just how like in a big family you always have somebody to lean on. And that's what I really like about it is you always have somebody there to encourage you and to just help you get through things. And I've made some of the best friends that I've ever had. And it's been great because you can just surround people with people that love Jesus as much as you do and people that love you too. Well, it's very entertaining. I love it when I see them at recess, especially Gabrielle and Bianca. She's always very excited to see me. She'll come up and give me a hug, which is very nice. You're exposed to so much just Jesus and just so much love here at the school that you can't help but like express it back to everyone else and it just kind of goes in and out. I think everyone here that I teach with has a servant's heart. It's all about what they can do for somebody else. We strive for that. As time goes on, you see that. And I think that's very Jesus-like. What can you do for the other guy? Don't spend any time thinking about yourself. That's powerful. He guides man paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I truly believe uh, that uh, God tapped me on the shoulder for this. God not only uses you to help uh, those students, He sharpens you and your faith as well. From the first uh, We Believe sign, we won state championships in basketball, baseball, football, track. In the, in the real world, it shouldn't have happened. So seeing all of that has sharpened my personal faith. Growing spiritually at Horizon, it's really easy if you take advantage of it. Through the Bible programs with our amazing Bible teachers, it's really helped me to grow in my faith and make it my own faith, and not just a faith that I take off of my pastors or my parents. It's becoming my own faith through my experiences at Horizon. I wasn't happy about, you know, I don't want to check out this new school, I don't want to do that, I don't want to be up here and all this stuff. And I walked in and the first thing that caught my eye was there was carpet. Because every public school I have ever been in, there was no carpet. It was all tile because they were always afraid we were going to spill. And by the time I walked out that day, I was like, I was totally, I want to go here, I want to go here. There's never a place where I'm not given an opportunity to grow. I want to send my students out to college and to the world knowing that they can hold their own and how to pick apart a piece of writing or, or look at an argument and see what's right or what's wrong about that argument. I want them to have a deeper love of Jesus and be critical thinkers. The concept of a private school component opens the door for us to bring an element that, that other schools can't bring in. They can bring in other things, but they, they can't bring in Christ. They can't. To me, that's that's the it, that's the, that's the difference, that's the thing that makes Horizon special. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.